Jeff from Johannesburg sent a lovely email in saying, Richo, there were so many gadgets on the market, what should I buy? Well, Jeff, the Magimix Cook Expert is the latest thing, and believe me, it's fantastic and very easy to use. What I'll start with is making a chili beef ragu, which you would think would be impossible to cook in one of these, but you can, and it works out beautifully. What I'll start is I'll throw in some chilies, some red chilies and some garlic. Three cloves of garlic, and I'll just roughly chop them like that and throw them straight in. And then, of course, I've got a little bit of smoked paprika, about a half a tablespoon, and some cumin, whole cumin. You can use ground cumin if you want. About a teaspoon of that goes in there. I've got one onion finely diced, in it goes, and a good sploosh of extra virgin olive oil. It's so important to have good oil in there. It adds to the flavour. Believe me, it makes a real difference. Of course, some salt, because we need plenty of salt. Now all I need to do is set it for cook. I've got it for five minutes with a speed of three, so it'll go around nice and gently. And I've got my heat to 130 degrees, and that'll sweat off all these ingredients. On goes the lid. Click it in and press start. There you go, it's even got a timer, a little beep that tells you it's ready. Have a look at the bottom of that. It smells fantastic. You can see the bubbling going on, the onions in there and the garlic and all the other ingredients have sweated off beautifully to give it a great flavour. Now this is the fun bit, I throw in the beef. About a cup and a half, maybe 300 grams of diced beef. You can use whatever beef you want. And I'll also add some red capsicum as well. About half a red capsicum goes in there. And I'll also add some red wine because Jeff, I do know that you love your red wine as well. So a good splush of that in there. About a cup is all you need. But Jeff, you could put a bit more in there if you want. Now I'll also add some beef stock. Now what I want to do is add about a cup of beef stock so it just covers the bottom of the beef. And I'll also add some tomato passata. About a cup and a half of passata goes in there as well. That'll help to thicken it up. Now all I need to do is pop the lid back on, click it in place, and here's where I reset it. I want to set the time for about... 20 minutes, so I'll just press the button till it gets up to 20 minutes, all the way through there, 20 minutes exactly. And I want to sp set the speed so it turns around really slowly. About one is all you need. And I'll also set the temperature all the way down here at 130 degrees to get it simmering away nicely. Turn it on like this, and all I need to do is go sit down and wait for that beep. You can just smell the chilli beef all the way through the kitchen. It's steaming up beautifully. Now, the last thing I need to do is add some herbs, some chopped coriander and some basil that I've torn apart. Just push it straight in through the top here, and the Magic Mix cook blade will gently stir it through the chilli beef that's in there. Now, the trick with this is to make sure you've got it at the right temperature. I wanted this to cook quickly and reduce, so I've had it at 130 degrees. Now, if I wanted to cook this for a lot longer, I just reduce the temperature down and cook it nice and low and slow. But this oh, smells delicious. It's coming down for the last 30 seconds. I just can't wait. You can smell it. Take the lid off like that. It's still bubbling away. The herbs have been stirred into my chilli beef, and you can see it's thickened up beautifully into my bowl. Now, all I have to do is give it a taste. So sensational and so easy to do. Jeff from Johannesburg with a Magimix cook expert. You can cook anything. Something as simple as this or as complex as you want. Mm.